All right. Hi, folks. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to be making some wonderful, delicious almond log cookies for tonight. We're going to use some real almond paste and mix it with a little bit of sugar and some egg white. And they're going to be delicious. Okay, so let's get started. First up, we're going to use our mixing bowl here. We're going to use the paddle. All right. And I am going to start with one cup of granulated sugar in the bottom of this bowl. Okay, so we're looking at, you know, eight ounces. There we go. And before I forget, I'm going to add just a little, little dash of salt here. Not that much. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Um, normally I don't add salt to much of what I do because I'm generally using salted butter, but there's no butter going in this recipe. So we want to make sure we add just a touch of salt. And what salt does is it enhances the flavor of everything else. Okay? Oh. You don't want to overdo it with the salt. Okay, I mean, you don't want salty anything, but in sweets and in baked goods, just a touch of salt just enhances your vanilla, enhances your chocolate flavor, your butter flavor, all of it makes it good. So anyway, there's our sugar, there's our salt, and I'm going to add eight ounces of almond paste. It's, you know, one of the packages here. You get this at uh, the grocery store, find them at Walmart. Whatever. It's just eight, eight ounces of uh, straight up almond paste. It's not marzipan. It's almond paste. Okay. It makes a difference. Okay. So, going to open this guy up. Break it up a little bit. Pop it in. And oops, a little bit more. This is expensive stuff, so we don't want to waste it. Alright. So now I'm just going to put this on the mix. And I want to mix it down to where um, it's as smooth as possible. Basically what I'm looking for is probably teeny tiny little pea-sized pieces of almond paste. Okay, so we'll just let this go for a minute. And in the meantime, okay, so I'm going to need some egg white and a little bit of flour, too. Let's get our... Okay, I need a quarter of a cup of flour, so I might as well measure that out, but I'm not going to add this until the end, so... Also going to need some almonds and some granulated sugar. Okay, there we go. We'll leave these off to the side. Okay, and I am going to need two egg whites. And I'm using large eggs. Okay. There's one. Here's the other. Might as well just get them ready. Okay. All right. This has got a little ways to go, it looks like. Now, one thing that you can do to speed this process up is to add just a teeny weeny little bit of egg white to your mix, okay? Not all of it, just a weeny little bit, not even half of, half of one egg. Just a drop or two. See, that's good. There we go. And what that's going to do is it's going to help break down 
the sugar and the um, almond paste. Okay, what we're looking for is for the almond paste to be as smooth as possible. Okay, so we're going to want to do this gradually. But at the same time, we're not going to take all night with it either. So, all right. So if you want to take a look here, you know, notice this is uh, already, it's starting to look like it's starting to congeal together. Now, once it lumps into a ball, then it will be, it'll be completely uh, becoming smooth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to be patient until that happens. And then it's basically just a mixy mix. Okay. Smells good. Oh yeah. See how crumbly it's becoming now? Ah. You can see it. That's because the, uh, the pieces of almond paste are really starting to break down. But there's so much sugar yet. You know, it, I mean, it can't all dissolve into it. So you got a, a lot of friction yet because of all that sugar. All right. I am going to go ahead and add just a touch more egg white. There we go. Just a little at a time. And, uh, you know, while I'm at it, I think I'm going to also add just a little bit of this uh, wonderful almond emulsion, too. This is like better than almond extract. It's good stuff. Okay. Just a little bit here. That's all you need. Oh, yeah. See how it's like an oil? Yeah. And see how that just became a ball? Go ahead and put the camera on there. I want everyone to see that. Because that's what you're looking for. Now your almond paste is becoming smooth. Okay. Now you're grinding out all those little little uh, granules and, and uh, little little chunks of almond paste. And now I can add a little bit more egg white. Then the mixer doesn't work so hard. The mixer likes that. Mm. And we'll just add the rest of that there. Okay, now I want to give it a little, a little scrapey scrape down to the bottom. Make sure I got everything all into it. Oh yeah, this is nice. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Mm, very looking smooth. Oh yeah, that's the idea. Oh, look at this! I found a piece that fell out. Whoops. Uh huh. Well, we can't add it back again now. Okay. All right. We'll let this mix and mix in. Take a moment, and then I also still got to add that flour in too. Got a quarter of a cup of flour all me measured out. I'm going to add to this. Now the reason for the flour is so that uh, when these go in the oven, they don't just melt into nothing. You know, otherwise they would. Okay. There we go. Flowers in. And now we'll give it another scrapey scrape. Oh yeah, that's good. That's nice. Nice dough. Actually, this is more of a batter than a dough, I would say. Smoothly smooth and a dunny done. There we go. See, there you go. That's how it should look right now. Okay? So. This is good stuff, so we're not going to want to waste any here. This is one beater you want to lick. 
<laughs> Don't tell like me. Yummy almond paste. Are you kidding? Yum. Oh, yeah. That's very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Okay. Now... Okay, so... I'm just going to scrape all this into a, a mass here. There we go. I want it to be all consistent. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is drop a couple of these guys in here. And it's not a quite a full scoop, okay? It's about two-thirds of a scoop, maybe three-fourths. Okay, three fourths is actually the best. But you know, that's just me and that's my sweet spot. You'll find your own. Okay. Now we want to give them a little shaky shake, like so. Now give that a roll and drop it in. And now you see why I didn't fill the fill the scoop. Because they can become very big if you're not careful. Mm. Okay, so basically it's you take the batter, you drop it in the nuts first, give it a little roll. And into the sugar. And then into the sugar. Okay, you want to use just a little bit of pressure, not too much. Okay. You don't want to squeeze it all over your hand. All right. Okay. Basically, you're using the nuts to get into the shape first. The sugar finishes it off. Now we fish them out. And here's how they look. Okay. Look at those. <laughs> okay. So let's do that again. 